Decide immediately. Decide immediately. Now, thank you for Mrs. Ritzel. She will uh, explain a little bit DocuPlant, how the farm management tool, and what is important, and she knows this, when we set up DocuPlant, we know exactly, I cannot be an expert for a Russian uh, farm, for a Nigerian farm, whatever. We need local expert. That means we have data from the geography side, standardizable and downloadable from a big data set. Uh, we have time, time is generally globally the same, but local data, what you calculate, must come from local experts. And there are a few words we built up here, Club of Ossia, Xarka will speak a little bit about, to educate people from different countries to add on these local databases. Because in Serbia, they will have different prices, different data, uh, or in Russia or in Austria, and the currency in the north and the south is also different. So please, Mrs. Schrift, a little bit overview. Thank you. Um, a warm welcome also from my side to that conference here uh, called AgriFuture Days. Uh, in Villach, um, as already mentioned by Mr. Mayer, um, in the next few minutes, um, I will give you an overview about the farm management tool called DocuPlant, a solution for the farmer, advisors, and already for uh, complete regions and countries. So in the next few minutes, I will bring you up about the AgroOffice DocuPlant, the farm management tool of um, Proges, and in context, um, their needed uh, regional adaptation. So first of all, uh, some information about the, um, the structure and background of DocuPlant. The basic principle of DocuPlant um, involves that DocuPlant NLT includes all the base uh, data information of documentations. Um, that means um, what, that means which activities, when, that means uh, time referenced and where geographic referenced um, are, yes, are, um, are happen on the field and, uh, document and will be documented. And um, based on that documentation, um, all further add-on mod modules, such as the DocuPlant Professional for the cost calculation, and the DocuPlant Soil Manager for the nutrient balancing, and the more or less uh, the core component of the AgroOffice DocuPlant is the GIS um, uh, module uh, behind there, the winges. Um, to handle geographical data in an easy way. So a core component for successful management is good planning, so good planning with, docu with DocuPlant. And it helps to assess um, opportunities and risks um, and it enables a continuous control uh, to reach uh, the objectives. Um, when you start a program, you have uh, at first to enter the fields and uh, the holding data um, and the mean life place at cultivation window. That means um, where you document on your appropriate uh, fields or plots. The plot describes the smallest cultivated area, um, their activities, that means what and where and when it happened and um, already in a single plot specific way. Um, as already mentioned, the core component of AgroFus Docker plant is the GIS, is Winges as basic IT platform um, to handle their geographic data. So, um, um, when you start uh, the program, you see here um, at the cultivation uh, window, on the left side, the appropriate fields with their appropriate plots or plot. Um, and the time scale um, gives you a very quick overview about your actual stand of cultivation in the past, uh, now and in the future. 
and in the following you know the outstanding activities because because each um, activity is linked to an uh, to an icon which I'll show you later on um, so for to make um <coughs> To make a cultivation plan in in docker plant, um, you already um, is done in uh, more or less for um, uh, less steps. So uh, you select from a selective list of uh, crops your selective um, crop and, and drag them over to your field. So that's all what is needed to do a cultivation plan because of the simulation. And the simulation includes all the predefined um, expert data. That means all uh, crops um, with their activities and uh, their resources. Um, and on the base on that, the they are defined in that simulation file, uh, the production models. So therefore you need only uh, via drag and drop, you make a cultivation plan on the field, drag them over to your field, and then you, um, and all that uh, documented um, information uh, you will see here, for the winter wheat, there are uh, assumed, the simulation file assumes to each uh, crop the needed activities, their resources like tractors and so on, and anything um, hectare based. So you see here the docker plant, uh, the planning shown now, so the outcome is a, is a, a cultivation plan. This represents the simulation file. So, um, as I said, the documentation will be finished very quickly because the system automatically suggests for each uh, crop the all necessary activities and, and in a chronological order, and also the resources and quantities for each chosen activity, as you can see here in the simulation file, with their different cultivation models. Um, like uh, conventional seeding, direct seeding, and so on for each crop. And all these icons represent their um, their activities. So the cultivation of a crop consists of each icon describes an activity, yes, from directly on the crop from seeding to harvesting, and each activity consists of resources and quantities per hectare. But how you finally cultivate your um, winter wheat is up to you. So regarding the documentation is done in three steps by selecting an activity, the resources, and um, especially, um, especially documentation of some um, properties for this um, activity. So this is the documentation. So all these um, documented ac activities are listed in several um, um, reports in different ways and can be printed out and handed over to various control organizations. So based on such documentation, the first add-on module is the DocuPlan Professional for the cost calculation. So. Um, the dynamic changes in the market and the ever more complicated uh, methods in agricultural uh, management, um, methods of agricultural management and EU subsidies um, require a professional tool to assess the economic risks and chances um, to calculate the gross profit uh, for a cultivation plan. So apart from the booked activity costs, also the plant activity costs can be uh, displayed in the, pro in the local plant professional tool. Um, further, the planning component in that case is very useful. Uh, so that questions like how a new tractor or different tillage operations or another crop rotation affects the operational success can be answered very quickly. So without any documentation, um, 
over the plant crops, you have the possibility to generate an overview about the costs for the future. So the system assumes um, to each uh, crop the, um, the needed activities and therefore the resources, including their quantity yeah, and their prices. And the outcome of this are the expected costs and yield yeah, uh, for each um, crop on the appropriate plot. Um, furthermore, the individual costs are um, behind assigned to different cost centers, as you can see here. Um, so you can see here the cost distribution, um, which gives you, which helps the farmer in the further decision making, for example, to search for uh, cost saving potentials. Based on the documented um, based on the documentation in DocuPlant LT, the next add-on module is the soil manager for nutrient balancing. Uh, we already know that fertilizing represents um, an important expense factor in the agricultural production. So uh, various ecological conditions such as um, especially the groundwater uh, protection makes nutrient balancing necessary. So a permanent positive saldo uh, has not only effects for the biological system but um, also an essential has also an essential expense factor uh, which has negative effects for the cost calculation without bringing through the profit. The docoplant soil manager generates um, nutrient balances without any further entries, um, provided that all um, fertilizations, uh, which means that these three times of nutrient supply, and all our harvests are um, document. Um, are documented, this one-time nutrient removal. And the outcome of this is the balance over each value, nitrogens, phosphorus, kalium, and so on, as you can see here. And if the balance shows a permanent positive saldo, here's another um, overview, plot-specific nutrient balancing in detail, and um, if uh, the, the balance shows a permanent positive saldo, the additional nutrients must be somewhere. So such charts uh, will help the farmer in their, um, what the farmer will think about that topic. So using to less um, fertilizers means heavy losses in harvest yields or too much fertilizer means um, permanent uh, waste of money. Another type of um, balancing is the report about fertilizer types, split it up into mineral fertilizer and yields, just to give you an example. Um, now I will come to the, to the core component of Agrofis Dokuplant regarding the uh, integrated GIS. Um, so um, the area management in GIS um, system offers a lot of possibilities uh, to the modern farmer to organize his business more productively. So because of this breakdown of geography with digital maps and um, um, the continuous time axis here, which where you can go into the past and in the future, all processes, that means all activities which are uh, on the fields or plot, can be illustrated via uh, drag and drop according to the correct geographic reference and time reference. Um, <coughs> for example, for example, for the area identification, the um, so to make the preparation and administration of um, digital maps easier, AgroOffice implemented different um, intelligent GIS assistants, uh, which uh, helps you 
uh, which gives you or which offers you a step-by-step -step help menu. For example, the area identification, you can edit, you can um, move or delete or uh, corner points or insert or delete an aisle, for example, here. <coughs> Another is the split. Another point is the splitting plot by insert two corner points. Then the field is split up into uh, plots. And after that, um, you can use the full power of um, of GIS. That means also um, thematic maps, utilization maps, or um, other maps are always up to date and can be retrieved by a mouse click. For example, this thematic map <coughs> with their legend inside. Um, or the second part which I want to show you is um, the needed um, regional adaptation for such a system if you want to set up or roll up roll out such a farm management system in a country or region you need the regional adapta adaptation for the auto images, the translation, the expert database, and structure. So it, for example, the translation uh, means in Vinges, um, in numerous lines <laughs> in, uh, lang in language files, in Docoplan, some um, data records which needed to be um, adapted. Um, the user interface contern, contains uh, four elements, geography, database, but for the time, the, ta the time and the um, uh, geographic um, reference. And therefore, what, when, and where it happened. All these expert data information, like machine, crops, fertilizing, and so on, have to be adapted to your region or your country. Um, It is split up in three parts, um, the adaptation. That means at first you need to do the, the so-called master data. That means municipalities, postcodes, and banks have to be adapted. The next step will be the, the control data, like crops, varieties, resources, activities, and so on. And based on, and after that, or based on that two adaptations, you can uh, adapt the activity-based or define activity-based cultivation models. Here, um, here, an example for a form regarding the uh, adaptation of postcodes or yeah. the documentation data includes uh, the crops, the varieties um, belong to the certain crop, the activities, so you need the date, the resources and quantities um, for proposals, the cost centers uh, needs to be adapted or defined, that means group of activities in a cost report, standard resources so that you can find them more easily, resources, that means machines, fertilizers, plant protections, that means also um, um, f fertilization, um, herbicide, fungicide, and so on. <coughs> then uh, what are the cultivation restrictions in that region and the type of them, types of cultivation, and also the nutrient balance uh, values. An overview about the quality of the core data and documentation means uh, winter wheat seeds. In planning, you need it in quantity per hectare. In professional, you need it in costs per uh, qu um, prices per quantity. And uh, the soil ban balance, you need the values. Um, <coughs> Now an example about how to add a new crop um, f um, used by the form crops in the plant. It looks like that, so you need a name, you need a, um, a subsidy description, a time, uh, yeah, a time. Um, from seeding to harvesting, um, edited with a color, 
then the, you need to assign the, the activities, the, um, uh, the varieties, um, and some specific um, crop-specific properties which, which need to be documented during the documentation. Um, so activity-based cultivation models, including their resources, is realized as a simulation file. So different models for one crop in one simulation file. So you can define huge number of new crop models for one crop by using different combination of production methods. And for <coughs> the, the country Germany, it looks like that. It's, it's, it's only a, an example. And it represents the base for the planning, as I showed you before. Um, so you create a new simulation file, uh, select uh, from the defined crop list before, um, drag them over to your field, um, select a type of cultivation, uh, from, for example, conventional to direct seeding and so on, which needs to be predefined. <coughs> and after that, you need to assign the activities and including their resources. This we already have seen, <coughs> the activities. So for... Um, a modern farm management tool, um, it is necessary uh, to offer a cultivation plan besides the documentation. <coughs> um, to set up s um, such a farm management tool in a country or uh, in a region, um, it is all needed to adapt, uh, for example, the structure um, from the farmer to the, to the users, including all their private and uh, public organization inside, uh, to work uh, hand in hand to, to, um, to realize it successfully, especially and especially um, in the following to lift such a farm or a whole integrated farm management um, yeah, so farm management tool. Okay, I hope the message is clear <laughs> and thank you. <laughs> This is really technically well done presentation. Thank you for, very much for that. But still, I have some questions. First of all, about an expert system inside of this software suite. What is the basis of this expert system? How does it work? I mean, oh, I hope it's not a commercial secret. <laughs> <laughs> this is a problem. Mr. Mayor is the head. <laughs> and uh, by the way, about time dynamics scenarios, which yes. is the basis for a special analysis of the source condition and uh, et cetera. What we said. Uh, yeah. What is the basis of the XML JSON uh, format? I mean, or it's something very unique, <laughs> really unique. Mr. Mayor will answer this because I have not. And time. about <laughs> and one more, the, the yeah. third one about the criterion of effectiveness of your system. Uh, how do you calculate it? Or it's dimensionless, dimensionless, or some kind of I don't know. I can answer a little bit. Uh, because not everything should be answered and the part of it, it, it will be shown in, in half an hour, in one hour when I present something. Uh, the key question is the precision is always possible which general data are from governmental or from farmer side available. Some data are here and some data are not here. And if a country is good managed by the government, we have a fantastic soil map. Fine, based on the soil map I can calculate precise. If there's no soil map available, I cannot calculate anything. It's very simple. But the farmer cannot be, cannot be available for an Austrian soil map. Either Austria has a soil map, or uh, this is something what Dr. Peter mm. did in many countries. The key question is we have natural basic fundamentals. The geology, the soil, and the metrology. The farmer cannot change, will not change. But when you have the general data available, then you can recalculate. Easy, rather easy. 
When these general data are not available, and this is what Fred Bitterle uh, did in several countries, in Africa and South Sudan, for example, he made this mapping, also with ranges. He did it in Uzbekistan, in Kazakhstan, the same. That means to evaluate once a country and to say which geology is available, which soils are available, and I'll come later in detail. And then you can make basic maps, and based on these basic maps, you can do precise calculation. If you don't have any information, you cannot calculate precise. Very simple. Thank you for the question. Okay, if we finish and no more questions, thank you, Mrs. Ritzel. I think it gave an overview, but important last sentence from my side. This technology, in some cases, will be used not by the farmers, but by advisors. Okay, we need advisory teams in some country where the farmers, they don't have time, every farmer. But one, one advisor can manage 1,000 farmers, 1,000 smallholder farmers, fine. He needs 20 minutes for a year of a farmer or, or one hour, and then he manages the farm. The farmer gets five papers, finish, and the farmer works. Or the farmer gets a handy in future and get, gets the advice on the handy. So we need an advisory team to get very quick the information down to the farm level in a different sort because the advisor is better educated than the average farmer. <laughs>